Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So as promised, today I am going through my lipsticks. This was meant to be a lipstick declutter and that's definitely the intention I had when I was starting this video and like before filming it, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to declutter my lipstick collection. However, having filmed this video, I can give you a spoiler alert very little decluttering went on. This was a definite declutter fail. However, I did go through all of my lipsticks. I did swatch them all as well so you can see what they look like and I let you in on my lipstick collection secrets. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy watching. Here is my lipstick collection. I keep all of my lipsticks in these two moody drawers. They're really quite old. They're actually really battered as well, but they work. Just up here, I have actually popped some new lipsticks that need to go in here. And then we have my two drawers. Here, I mean, really it's a mismatch, but here I keep kind of YSL gold lipsticks, basically. These are all Charlotte Tilbury. And then at the back, there are some others. At the top, I have my MAC lipsticks and then some others towards the back. So I think I'm going to start this how I start all of my beauty declutters. And that is by emptying out everything. I've just popped all of my MAC lipsticks here so we can go through my MAC lipsticks first. My MAC lipstick collection is definitely my biggest. I have the most MAC lipsticks so I thought we'd start like this. I think I won't do everything brand wise but you know the brands where I have quite a few to go through I will section them off into brands. So let's start with MAC. Honestly I'm probably going to keep the majority of these because I just love them. So starting with these mini ones which I... I'll be honest, I mostly keep because they're so cute. Like, I've definitely whittled down the collection. These were actually a Christmas exclusive. I believe it was in 2019 that they launched these MAC minis as part of their Christmas collection. And I did whittle it down to my favourites of the bunch. So, for example, this is MAC's Chili, which is such a beautiful little colour. I haven't used any of these, by the way. They are all new, still to be used. This one is Nouvelle Vogue. Again, really pretty colour. So most of these I don't have a big form of, but I do think maybe this one might be a classic. Yeah, this is Ruby Woo, which I do have full size of, but of course I'm going to keep the mini as well because it is a classic. These, honestly, I'm not too sure whether I will ever use them, but I am definitely going to keep them because they are so pretty. I have, as I said, whittled it down already, and these are just the ones that I'm keeping. They're unused. They're still brand new. I guess they're kind of like a collector's piece and I always think they look quite nice in my little storage as well. So from there, let's go for other limited edition packaging. I don't have many, but I do have a few. So we'll go through those first. So this is a MAC Viva Glam. This is the Rihanna shade. I'll actually just swatch it on my hand so that you can see. Really beautiful red. I'm keeping this one. My friend actually gave me this one. Followed by Russian Red by MAC. Again, this is limited edition packaging I suppose and again it's a really beautiful red quite a deep one but really stunning I haven't used this one that much but looking at it it's one that I definitely want to use more moving on to this limited edition packaging this is in the shade daddy's girl this is a really pretty color I use it quite frequently in the summer I think it's a very pretty like pinky summery shade so that's a nice one that again holding on to with my MAC lipstick collection. I am mostly going to hold on to everything. I will just let you know right off the bat. And then this was part of their Luna collection in 2020, I believe. So last year's Luna collection by MAC. This is the shade Marrakesh. So it's just their standard lipsticks, but in limited edition packaging. I haven't actually used these, so I am going to keep it as brand new, which might be a little bit annoying for some of you because you want to actually see the lipsticks in action, but I haven't used them. So I feel like it's a waste. And this is the shade cockney which is a gorgeous red i love my red lipsticks so yeah i will hold on to these a little bit longer because they are limited edition packaging and maybe one day i will finally use them i don't think this is limited edition packaging but obviously it does look different to max standard packaging this is a lip intensity lipstick so it comes out a little bit more sheer this is in the shade fire roasted so it's a really deep 
red color it's actually the darkest type of brownie red that i own but i really like it i think it's a very nice shade and i do wear it from time to time so i will keep as well and then standard lipsticks again i've got quite a few these are the ones that i would say i use the most mac lipsticks are definitely my most worn this is my newest one i got this for christmas but it just hasn't fit in here yet this is max saw so it's brand new but it was on my christmas list really wanted to try it so i will swatch this one for you it's quite a deep dark color i think it's deeper and darker than i expected so i'm really interested to use this on my lips actually because i kind of have a feeling maybe it's not exactly what i expected and maybe it's too dark but i've never used it so hopefully now that it is open i can finally use it then i've got max mare this is my fave mac lipstick it's just incredible so this is it it's a gorgeous like mauvey color it's got quite purpley undertones which i know don't suit everybody but i really love this shade i think this is the second one that i use and i just love it when that one finishes i will definitely repurchase it is a favorite this is max rebel probably one of the darkest lipsticks within my collection i don't use dark colors like purples and things that often but this is rebel which is an iconic mac shade i think it's a gorgeous purple like a really true purpley color so hopefully i'll use that soon maybe autumn time when autumn comes around again and this is the shade dangerous which is a gorgeous red this i believe i got last summer if i'm not mistaken and it's just such a nice orangey red like look at that it's stunning perfect one for the summer this is yash by mac which again is another new one to my collection this is quite a nudie color which is really lovely actually it's really neutral like a very neutral tone a tone but it's really beautiful a classic by mac this is ruby woo i've worn it loads it's quite a dry formula but it's such a beautiful one anyway just such a beautiful lipstick that i am sure will be in my collection forever this is max please me which to be honest with you i don't wear that frequently but it is a really nice pinky color it's just maybe a little bit lighter than i usually go for it is quite a true pink and i would say i usually prefer things like mare which are a little bit darker but it's still very pretty i think my friend gave me that one as well so still gonna keep it this is velvet teddy which was another iconic i mean if we compare velvet teddy to yash for example you can see that velvet teddy is definitely darker than yash's but still really beautiful it was obviously like quite a famous one but with good reason it is a very nice one this is a cream sheen lipstick it's in the shade hot gossip this is another one that my friend gave me slightly running out of space here but that's actually quite nice i actually think it's quite similar to mare a little bit pinkier definitely than mare is i suppose it's kind of a mix between these two it's just a darker pinky color i don't usually use cream sheen lipsticks but i quite like the look of this one so maybe this just means i'll have to use it more and the final lipstick is another red lipstick this is max lady danger another beautiful one for the summertime so i will just swatch that in here oh look at that the most stunning bright red honestly i actually tested out my favorite reds in a video i popped them all in a video so if you do want to see the red lipstick collection like my favorite reds i think i chose seven of them then i will leave that video linked for you so all of these i am going to keep which i guess kind of defeats the purpose of a declutter but my mac lipstick collection is just a collection that i adore and i'm so happy oops i'm so happy with my mac lipsticks and i just want to keep them for a little while longer i just think they are iconic basically i don't really put these in any particular order i just layer them basically so i don't really do like colors or anything like that i just pop them in and maybe as and when i start to use them they start coming closer to the front and closer to the middle but otherwise they're pretty much just always lined up like this So next up let's do charlotte tilbury i don't have many charlotte tilbury's but they are very beautiful starting off with penelope pink which i believe was the first ever charlotte tilbury lipstick i had this is a very nude shade i honestly don't use it that much this is one that i typically when i use it it will be layered over something else if i try something that's maybe a bit too pink or not the right shade i will layer this over the top because it's a really nice neutral color and i believe this is a mini version this was actually like a christmas thing and it's just the cutest little mini ever that of course i couldn't resist keep keeping i mean like look at them together so cute i've also got pillow talk which of course 
is a classic by Charlotte Tilbury and it's beautiful like with good reason these are so creamy even on my hands they feel super creamy it's just a really beautiful color this probably is like an everyday shade for me it's really beautiful then my most recent addition is red carpet red by Charlotte Tilbury which is so stunning it's a really deep red and I actually think it's quite berry toned as well like I do think it's got some pink raspberry undertones there as well which are very pretty a really gorgeous red this is my most recent one I got it for my birthday and it's just stunning and then this is also new this was actually from their Christmas collection which is why it's in its packaging because I love this packaging I think it's really pretty so this is another matte revolution lipstick and this is in the shade super you which is a really pretty shade name and I've never used this one before, so this is the first time it is swatched. And just a really nice dark colour. I actually think these two, like for example, this one layered over that one will actually be a really nice shade match. But this actually looks very, very pretty. I'm going to be completely honest here. And I would say that I just don't like this. I don't know how well you can tell on camera. But basically, this has like these diamantes kind of around the top which i don't love i think it's a little bit tacky for charlotte tilbury like their box packaging is stunning this one not so stunning in my opinion but gorgeous shade regardless it's just packaging we can get over that and these i'm again gonna keep all of them Next, let's move on to NARS. NARS, I didn't have a lot of previously, but I was actually sent, oops, kindly sent a few things from NARS recently. So I have these three new additions and then these three that were already in my collection. So I thought I would quickly talk you through the ones that I owned already. So this is from the NARS Orgasm collection. NARS Orgasm is probably one of the most popular blush shades. I have the blush as well in my collection and they recently expanded. I believe they launched like lipsticks like just a whole addition to that range this is one of their glosses it's very beautiful it's a gorgeous pink color as the name would suggest and it's stunning it looks gorgeous over lipsticks i've used this quite a few times and i love it i also love this rose gold packaging very pretty then i've got one of their velvet lip glides this is in the shade roseland this is quite a dark pinky color which as i've said is a color that i really like like you can tell it's almost got quite a purpley cool tone undertone which i personally really like this is very pretty so i am going to keep that as well part of their christmas collection by nars this is a gorgeous gold packaging which i believe was part of their christmas packaging like i said this is called the shade mona it's a really pretty like deep deep reddish brown color as you can see so creamy so gorgeous 100 keeping that as well and then moving on to the newbies this is a velvet matte lip pencil in the shade valkyrie i think that's how it's pronounced here's what it looks like so it's actually quite a darker nudie color but it looks very beautiful it looks like one that i could definitely incorporate into every day so i will keep this one it's the first velvet matte lip pencil i have from nars as well so i feel like it's worth keeping and then both of these are power matte lip pigments by nars as you can see there is a neutral color and there is a red so let's see the nude color first oh that's actually much darker than i expected so that will be an interesting one to try on my lips to see what it looks like on the lips compared to swatched because it is quite dark. This one is called Slow Ride and the second one I have is a red. We actually had a little like makeup tutorial and the makeup artist was using this and it just looked absolutely stunning. Look at that. Looks like it could definitely be a buildable red. Apparently it literally stays all day. Like it will not budge so that looks beautiful. And this shade is called Star Woman which I love. Could this be any more satisfying? <laughs> From here, we will move away from brands and just go kind of by packaging, if I'm being completely honest. In my bottom shelf, usually I keep all of my gold packaging because I just think it looks kind of aesthetically pleasing. And I guess where this is the background for my videos as well, like this is right next to me, I want it to look pretty too. So now let's go for gold packaging. So let's start off with YSL. This is a gorgeous red. Do you know what? It's unused and I'm going to leave it unused because look how gorgeous this is what beautiful packaging what beautiful lipstick i've only got two ysl lipstick and i have never used either of them because i just think they're too pretty 
to use and like I can't ever imagine using them honestly so this is gorgeous it's the red shade I have in the shade 74 and then this one my friend got for me I think it was for my 21st birthday so I feel like it's even more special as well as being YSL it was a really beautiful gift from a friend of mine and it's just stunning this is one of their Volupte shine lipsticks it's in the shade 30 two and it's this really pretty pinky color i mean i would love to use this one time i would love to actually know what it looks like because i do believe they come out more sheer it's not this bright but i just can't bring myself to using it because this honestly is such a special lipstick to me so i will hold on to that brand new <laughs> from bobby brown i only have this lipstick this might be i've tried very little from bobby brown and this again was a christmas one look at that it's absolutely a stunning super shimmery as well and i'm not going to use this one either because i feel like i've ruined it essentially you are finding out that part of my lipstick collection is just for decoration and then the other half are the pieces that i actually use so this is from kiko it's the only kiko lipstick i have it's in the shade 01 ocean feel really beautiful packaging actually even the bullet is very beautiful but this i actually tried the other day and i just don't think it's right for my skin tone it's very corally it's got a very orange undertone and i just don't think it really suits me so the first lipstick I am decluttering is this one from Urban Decay. This is a gorgeous red. It's in the shade Mega Matte 74. Beautiful red. Just look at that. I do love my red lipsticks. I have to be honest. That's such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade of red. So, of course, I am going to keep that one as well. Two from Lancome. I actually have loads of Lancome lipsticks, but I don't keep them all out. Otherwise, I would literally have a full collection. But this one is a gorgeous matte red. Again, just obsessed with it. Quite a sheer, quite a sheer one when it comes out on the bullet, but just beautiful. And then this is Killing Me Softly, which is in the same sort of collection, the same kind of style, but obviously it's more of a darker tone, which is probably a little bit more wearable, but love them both then i have two from bare minerals these are part of their mineralist collection one of these is new one isn't this is energy which again i featured in that red lipstick video a really beautiful red it's actually not a matte but i still really like it despite that so holding on to that and this is the new one this is in the shade memory recently got this one it's quite a dark one in the bullet can definitely be built up as well but it's another cool tone and as you know i like that kind of thing so yeah keeping those and actually the last few like lipsticks in a bullet that i have are only these three so i'll quickly go through them as well this one's from illamasqua and it is in the shade fahrenheit part of their anti-matter lipstick collection this is very beautiful another creamy style red but such a stunning color so keeping that one this one's an old one it's from sigma i've had it for ages the name has rubbed off but it's a very beautiful color like i just love that color so i'm gonna keep it as well i actually need to try that one soon though because it might be a little bit too old and then this one is from burberry it's another purple shade which i think this is only the second one that i have in my collection really stunning so good to keep that as well because it's the only one i have from burberry and also it's only my second purple shade on to liquid lipsticks so i'll start off with these two from pixie which i'm definitely going to keep but i won't swatch because these are quite hard to remove and i feel like my hand is already looking quite reddened so i am keeping these two if you do want to see them swatched on my lips they are featured in that red lipsticks video so i will leave that linked down below keeping both of these because they are some of my favorite reds then i have this from smashbox which i actually used the other day and unfortunately i think it's hard to bin it it's actually i've had it for quite a while maybe like over a year now and like i said i used it the other day and it just didn't feel fresh on my lips it really didn't feel that good so i feel like it's time to go it's a beautiful color though i really do love it it is called always on liquid lipstick rouge that's it i think it's called always on liquid lipstick and then this is a lip magnet by Giorgio Armani in the shade 506. This is beautiful. It's darker than the Smashbox, but definitely like buildable. Although on my hand, it doesn't really look that much darker. It's buildable basically. So it's one of those that you're just going to build up and is really beautiful. So I am keeping this one. 
This is another Giorgio Armani. This is the shade 400 Lip Maestro. And if I'm not wrong, I believe Armani 400 is like Armani Red, basically. It's just their staple red. This is beautiful. It still looks really beautiful. However, I used this the other day on my lips as well, of course. I found that it just smudged a lot, like it completely blurred on my lips. It really didn't stay in place long enough, which is what you expect with a liquid lipstick. At least it's what I expect, really. I'm the kind of person who is quite lazy with my lipsticks. I don't typically like and stuff like that so yeah I just think maybe I've had this for a little bit too long so probably time to go this is an exciting product this is a glitter switch from Ciate I've never used this but I really want to I remember receiving this and being so excited about it it's essentially meant to change when you rub your lips together so it goes on this color and then you rub your lips together and it turns into glitter so I still want to try that one so I'm gonna hold on to it and then I have these two which are slightly different I suppose this is a Too Faced melted matte in the shade Chihuahua this is brand new I used to have one of these and I absolutely loved it I'm gonna keep this one because it is still new and I know I love this shade so I will hold on to that and then this is a Carmex Moisture Plush. This is essentially just Carmex Lip Balm mixed in with a tinted balm. A really pretty colour as well, actually. So I'm going to keep this one. I might move this into my handbag, though. These three are kind of like pencil balm type products, I suppose. This is from Diego de la Palma, and it's a really nice red, like such a nice bright color which is gorgeous i always also really like this packaging i think it's great this is a lip stilo in the shade 245 these two from bare minerals i absolutely love they are part of their gen nude lip range lip collection this is the shade carnation which is a fairly new one this one's actually broken but i'm not even joking i'm gonna hold on to it because i just love it so much gorgeous 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 color i wear this one quite a lot when i take pictures and also when i film videos i'm often wearing this one and then this one from bare minerals is in the shade petal which is a lighter pinky color but still very beautiful a nice one in the summertime when you want a bit more of a brighter lip but i love these they feel amazing on the lips they're so beautiful so keeping those i think as we're approaching the end of this video probably realize that rather than being a declutter this is actually a lipstick collection because i think i've only decluttered three lipsticks so clearly i'm not doing a very good job these are lip glosses i don't use lip glosses often but you know these are a few that i have held on to this is a mac one part of a limited co collection and actually if you look at the rim i think i've never used this one so for that reason i'm actually going to declutter it give it to a friend friend could probably love and use that more than i have done this is by florence which is by millie bobby brown i've never used this before either it's quite a dark gloss though which is the reason why i think i have been tempted to hold on to this so i'm not sure that one's a maybe this is gorgeous this is from Too faced it's their sweet peach lip gloss i love this it smells amazing really really beautiful gloss color i like this in the springtime summertime it's nice to just pop over a lipstick for a bit of a peachy tone oh my god the scent of that unreal this is charlotte tilbury it's a very classic one in my opinion looks really beautiful it's a nice one to layer on top of nude lipsticks i've showed you quite a few nude lipsticks that are quite dark and quite brown toned so when that happens usually i will layer something like this over the top which i think just brings it back to life a little bit this is in the shade seduction and from Iconic, this is one of their lip glosses in the shade Do Not Disturb, which is quite a nice gloss to just pop on over a colour. Really beautiful colour, in my opinion, so going to hold on to that one as well. Do we think these two are similar enough? Uh, I'll hold on to it as well. I think the time when I will maybe be a bit more ruthless is when I start trying to fit these in, and if they start not fitting, then I'll start being a little bit more ruthless. But to be honest, that is my collection nearly finished. These are then my lip liners, which... I don't use often, I will be honest, but you know, I do use them from time to time. So let's start off with this red one. This is by Buxom Cosmetics. This is a really gorgeous red pencil. I remember loving this. I haven't used this in quite some time. The other side has a brush as well, so you can really just brush that out if you so please. Um, I'm going to do clutter this one actually. It's been a really long time since I last used this, so I could probably say goodbye. And also, I'm going to take all this off because this here has started to sting on my arm quite a lot, which is worrying. So I don't know if maybe I should declutter that one, just because it started stinging really, really quickly. But I don't think I have a rash or anything. But I think better safe than sorry. I think that Iconic is going to get decluttered. So I've just been to wash that. I don't know if you could tell, but I do think it left a little bit of a rash. 
and I'm worried whether it was the Iconic or the Charlotte Tilbury because they were both so close. I'm getting rid of the Iconic one. The Charlotte Tilbury one, I will have to test out another time when this has like calmed down a little bit, but oh my gosh, good thing I didn't use that on my lips. Anyway, let's carry on. This is Lottie Slay All Day. This is a long wear lip pencil in the shade Work It. I'm gonna try and avoid this area as well, obviously. This is, this is pretty, it's quite dark. Maybe too dark, I'm not sure about that one. This is from By Terry, it is a Rouge Expert Click Stick. I remember keeping this because By Terry didn't have anything else from By Terry. It's another purple shade, I'm gonna decluster it. I don't use purples that often, as you can tell, I've only got two in my collection, so I feel like keeping this would be just purely for the name, which there's no point. This is a Victoria Beckham Lip Definer Crayon in the shade 60, nope in the shade 01G9. This one's a very nice one. And I think looking at it compared to the Lottie one, they are quite similar. So I'm going to keep the Victoria Beckham and declutter the Lottie. This is from Code 8 Beauty, their soft, smooth lip liner. I can't seem to see a shade name, but this is what it looks like. So quite a nice pinky color. Thinking of holding on to that one. From MAC, this is a gorgeous plum berry tone lip liner, which I'm gonna keep because my friend got me this to go with Max Rebel, which I also did keep. So yeah, I'll hold on to that. This is the shade Vino. Finally, a Charlotte Tilbury one. This is a lip cheat in the shade Pillow Talk, which definitely needs to be sharpened. But I'm keeping that, but it needs to be sharpened. And that's everything. So just as I was sorting through this, I realized I was missing one of my favorite lipsticks, which of course I had to mention here. This is from Clinique. It's one of their even better pop lipsticks. This was in my handbag, which is why it was missing. This is in the shade 06 Softly, and it's gorgeous. Really love this shade. It's just stunning, and I will be keeping it as well, but I definitely wanted to mention it in this video, so I had to go and grab it. So that's everything sorted through and I thought I would just show you what everything looks like. So this is drawer number one and at the front I have my YSL lipsticks, I've also got a NARS, basically the gold ones live here. Then I've got these two rose gold from Lancome, these are all my Charlotte Tilbury ones as well as the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss which I need to test. Here I have a NARS and then back here I've also popped the NARS liquid ones as well as the NARS pencil and these two from Their Minerals which I love and use frequently and here I've popped my other like standard lipsticks, so a couple from Bare Minerals, Urban Decay, Elamasca, Sigma and Burberry. So that's the second drawer. And then the top drawer is mostly my MAC lipstick collection, but let me bring you up so that you can see a little bit better. So this is the top drawer. At the front I've got my MAC lipsticks which live there. These two limited edition ones are here as well. I've popped my lip glosses here at the back because I don't use them that often and here I've popped these two which I might move into my bag but for now they're okay there. Here I've popped all my liners together which might be a little bit random but I've only got a few of them so they feel and fit fine there. Here I've got my two liquids from Pixie, which I love, this other liquid from Giorgio Armani and then my Clinique lipstick which I love so that is essentially it some for decoration some that I actually use but really happy with it I didn't declutter too much so I don't think we could say the declutter portion of this video was a success but I hope you enjoyed it anyway